what's up all you pregnant people or your supportive partner of a pregnant person and you're probably wondering baby is almost here I need to pack a bag what do I need to bring baby's coming baby's coming what do I pack I gotta pack my bag I gotta pack my hospital bag I gotta like, bring a bunch of things to the hospital like, what do I bring I don't know like this is how you're supposed to be when you're about to have a baby not really what do we pack what do we pack what do we pack uh... ah! let me tell you my top 10 hospital bag must-haves 10 box of chocolates or something of the sort similar like a gift basket what have you to give to the nurses station they're the ones that are going to be checking on you frequently in and out of your room during after labor when baby's there and you're just hanging out in postpartum trying to figure out what to do the nurses are there to lend a helping hand and to make sure also that things are just going well in general and you never know what kind of nurse you're gonna get so you just want to make sure that you put this Good thing out there from the very beginning. Who doesn't like a little sweet something to brighten up their day, to bring a little smile? It doesn't hurt to do something nice for someone else. Nine, something for you to wear home. You don't want to be stuck with your potentially amniotic fluid crusted clothing to wear once once you leave the hospital and you know you're walking out and you're like, hey guys, I my why my water broke in this. Yep, don't worry, water broke. It's all good. Clean clothes are just good anyways, right? Eight, a sleep mask. When the baby is asleep, you're gonna wanna sleep. Amongst all of the hustle and bustle of the nurses coming in, constantly opening your door, maybe you've got family or friends hanging out with you in the room, turning on lights, you've got the monitor that's on in your room. So a sleep mask really helps you to get that solid shut eye when you're able to sneak it in. Trust me, you're gonna wanna get some good sleep because sleep is gonna be basically very rare and very valuable thing to come by it's just like ah I'm thinking back to that time and man just to get that moment and you don't want it to be you know half-assed you want to you want to do it right so get a sleep mask just block everything out some people go as far as to get earplugs me earplugs bother me and so I think it would just keep me awake but if, if you're cool with wearing earplugs do that just make your sleep time as optimal as possible seven a baby friendly lotion for your body after you give birth you're probably gonna want a shower and then if you're like me, I like to moisturize once I'm out of the shower. So I recommend to apply a baby friendly lotion so as to during skin to skin, baby skin won't get irritated because their skin is so sensitive, like ridiculous sensitive. Six, a toiletry bag. I believe the hospitals mostly have everything there that you would need, but it's nice to have your own products, right? You just, to bring yourself back to who you are. You just went through this really body straining experience and to just Bring it back to yourself with your own sense, your own products helps to just, ah, you know, I just squirted a baby out of my vagina. And those items can be whatever you need to feel like you again. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, moisturizers, baby friendly moisturizer for the body, hair brush, hair ties. I like to use bobby pins myself because I'm kind of a hair breakage freak, so I don't wear my hair in ponytail as often as I'd like. Something to think about because once you have a baby, your hair is gonna fall out, and trust me, you're gonna really wish you weren't wearing your hair in a ponytail all those times, damaging your hair. So that's a side tip. <laughs> win win. And toothbrush and toothpaste because you're probably gonna have some rank breath from all that heavy breathing. <laughs> you laugh now, but your family and friends won't be laughing when they have to endure that smell. Five PJs, particularly flannel PJs. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even stress this enough. Those saved me. They were amazing. I wear them <laughs> to this day, but I lived in them. I wish I bought more sets, but I only had one and I wore it a lot. But they're amazing to have with you at the hospital because not to mention they are super ridiculous comfy. But they button up the front so that makes for easy access to breastfeeding and such. I don't know why I'm just like doing it like this. Because you don't want to be lifting up your shirt, having it all weird. It's just after birth, you're gonna want to be just so comfortable after that very uncomfortable experience you just went through. So flannel PJs really help to accomplish that and then easy skin to skin and breastfeeding. Four, your own pillow from home. Now the hospital has pillows, of course, but they suck. They're flat, flimsy, not to mention they're in the sheets are a very low thread count and that isn't to be high maintenance because I'm not that high maintenance. However, when they're that low and you're getting a face scrub because it's so scratchy, yeah, I think I want to have my own pillowcase. Thank you. So I guess if there's that, you could just bring your own pillowcase and request two hospital pillows that you can shove in your pillowcase. 
then that might be good if you don't want to have to worry about bringing a pillow, but you just risk them not having enough pillows. I don't think I had that problem, but I have heard that you might run into that. The hospitals may limit you down to one, maybe two. And you're gonna want those extra pillows too to help support your arms for breastfeeding. But yeah, you want your own pillow because when you're wanting to sleep, you want some good sleep. Three, a camera. I mean, this is such a unique and special time and moment to capture it either on video or photos. It's such a sweet memory to, to look back on and just have for the rest of your life. I'm looking at doing this like there's a picture here and I don't know why I would be holding a picture like this, but. And make sure to bring an extra battery, a charger, whatever to keep that going because you don't want to be stuck with a dead battery and then therefore the camera serves you no good. I'm gonna group in cell phone as well because it takes a picture or video itself. You can also update family and friends, send photos, do FaceTime, Skype. It's a really great way to stay connected, keep everyone updated. Boom, two birds with one stone. Two, a comfy robe. This served me so well during labor, I don't know what I would've done without it. Because for me, I liked to be in the shower to labor. Taking off a shirt and pants and all that was gonna be a pain in the butt every time I wanted to get in the shower because I was shower, bed, shower, bed. I would recommend a Terry one because it could also serve as kind of a towel that you put on if you were to get in the shower or the bath. It also makes it easy for the doctor to check your cervix when they need to and get at your belly in any way heart monitoring. It was like wearing clothes without having all the restraints of clothes. Two birds, one stone, booyah. And my number one hospital bag must have is coconut water. Lots and lots, as much coconut water as you can bring. Bring a separate cooler just filled with coconut water. Pack the rest of your luggage bag with coconut water. Because during labor, you don't wanna make yourself nauseous by drinking so much water, but you do need to stay hydrated. And coconut water is so great for keeping your body hydrated well and find yourself a straw whether you bring one or ask a nurse for one when you're there at the hospital it really helps to be able to have someone bring you the coconut water with a straw in it and you can just drink off the straw versus having to hold something and lift it like in a cup or a mug and it's amazing to have for after because you're just so exhausted and you just want to down a bunch of liquids because you've just been going <gasps> Like the whole time, however many hours, tens of hours, I don't know. Coconut water, coconut water, coconut water, coconut water out the air, just coconut water coming out your pores. Coconut water, you want the coconut water. Well, there you have it. Those are my top 10, top 10. Like I need those 10 for sure in my hospital bag. Yes, there are other things that you want to bring as well, but those are my top 10. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. I'm giving it two, cause can, I have to. You can only give one blue one, do it. If you'd like me to cover any other top 10 lists, list them down below, leave me a comment. What do you want me to talk about? What do you wanna know? I want to tell you. And be sure to come back next week where I'll be covering my 10 things you don't need to bring in your hospital bag. Congrats to all you beautiful pregnant ladies out there and their partners. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next week. My top 10 awesome things about being pregnant. These are my top 10 grossest things about being pregnant.